What is the best brush? Yeah, right. I think I'm going to the woods with you. You can get it. I know what you want. And what do I want? I want this. That's right, I do. I want a lot more than that. Is that right? Yeah. Look around. You recognize this place? <laughs> what, the woods? Come on, Carrie. You don't remember? It's where we met for the first time. One year ago today. This changed our lives, right? For the better. Right, for the better. So I brought you here because I want this place to be the place where we change our destiny. Oh, Billy. This last year has been the happiest year of my life. Oh my God, I am so underdressed for this. Are you marry me? Are you serious? Absolutely. I love you so much. Last night I was watching you sleep, you're so beautiful, so gorgeous. I sat there and I thought to myself, I gotta be the luckiest man in the world because I get to see your face. And if I was to die right then, I'd die a happy man. Yes. Yes, I will marry yes. you. Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carrie, wait. Stop. Stop, stop. What? Stop. What's the matter? You can't touch me. No, we shouldn't be here. This is dangerous. What is that? Read the sign. Private property, no trespassing. Like Monster Mountain. You don't know what Monster Mountain is? No. It's this place. They do all these evil experiments on all these animals. Cruel, evil, disgusting things. And they say that they, they kind of crossed over the line and shit hit the fan. What happened? They get raided by PETA? Much worse. That thing, this animal, he got out and killed everybody. My friend told me it took him a week just to pick up all the body parts and find out who was who. <laughs> that is disgusting. We shouldn't be here. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get back to the car. But you slid it. You're starting to scare me now. No, people come up here all the time. They go missing hikers. Nobody ever sees him again. You get that you get a feeling somebody's watching you? Yeah, right now. I gotta get out of here. There's a car. Remember our trip to Tijuana? I forget. Oh, run!
serving America's Northwest. Channel 35. This is Samantha O'Cleary for Channel 35 News. Two Portland College students are missing after their vehicle was found in a remote area on Monster Mountain. Get up, boy. Hey, get up. We're going hiking. It's 5.30 in the morning. I said let's go. I'll be in the truck. That's what this is all about. It's time for you to become a man. <laughs> yes, it is. You shouldn't drink and drive. Yeah, there's a lot I shouldn't do. Since when do you hike? Since I just decided like it. Come here, boy. Turn around. Tell you what, I'm... Put a little weight in that pack. Get some meat on them bones. Come on, let's go. Come on, boy, let's go. some wheels. Why? Walk socks. Where are we going? Monster Mountain. Get on. second.
What is that? Uh, nothing for you to be concerned about. <laughs> safe facility close. Yeah, well, that's just to scare people away. This is some of the best hunting in the state. I know a guy lets me come up here whenever I want. Things seem to grow real big up here. Do you know a guy? Why can't we just go through the main gate? Because I just realized today's his day off, but if he's here, he would he'd let us ride over. We shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, well, you're just a kid. It's not your job to think. Yeah, well, it should. There's things up here could eat you alive, boy.
Okay, so what happened? I, uh, I'm walking along, walking in the woods, and, uh, and I'm, I'm what? I'm, I'm trying to show the kid some, some rare bird he's never seen before, and then I turn around and he's not there. Poof, he's gone. I, so I, 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 I look around, I, I, I yell for him, but, but no answer. going through. Just in case Danny's watching this broadcast right now, what would you say to him? Danny, uh, come home, please. Mommy loves you. Please come home. Please help us. Help us find our son. Uh, would you like to say something, sir? Is that the father? Uh, no, that's the second. We'd appreciate uh, any help we could get to, to help bring Danny home safely. We appreciate everybody's support. If, if we can give these people their privacy, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Danny, come home. Samantha O'Cleary, reporting from Channel 35 News. What do you think? Well, I wouldn't get my hopes up. Some teenager from the orphanage got kidnapped 15 years ago, got lost up there, and they still haven't found him. They never heard about that. Well, people don't like to talk about it. Some folks think a mountain lion got a hold of him. Some people think that he's just hiding out up there. Some lunatic kidnapped him. Nobody oh. knows. Well, I hope they find this kid before it's too late. Like I said, don't get your hopes up. If the animals don't get him up there, then he went on the mountain road.
How's the weather? The temperature's dropping. They're predicting it's gonna go down to the 40s. <clears throat> Damn. I hope he's okay. You know, you take the kid out there, you tell him to stay close, he doesn't listen. What was Danny doing there? What do you mean? I mean, you barely even talked to him. Why this morning? Why now? I was just trying to break the ice. By taking Danny hiking? Yeah. What's the big deal? I don't know. Since when are you a hiker? Why are you stopping? Why are you stopping? I heard something outside. <laughs> you heard something? Like what? Like a monster? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I heard something. Come on, it's probably a squirrel. Yeah. Jason, come on, stop it. If you're trying to scare me, it won't work. Seriously. I heard something outside. <laughs> okay. Look, I've been riding horses since I was seven, and I had to fend off the entire football team. I can handle myself. All you have to do is show that you don't have any fear. I'll be right back. No, Amy, no. Amy, no. Amy, Amy. Hello? Hello? Do you see anything? No, there's nothing out here. Oh, wait, I see something behind the tree. Hey, be careful. Be careful, okay? Yeah, I see it. It looks like... It looks like a... <laughs>
got a weapon. Your sandwich is ready. Still looks yummy. This is a great idea. Yeah, it's about time you and I took a vacation after being married six years. <laughs> it's also about time your mother started out from like a few years. Come on. We're here to relax, boys. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Be nice. You gotta pee, cause I'm the Brent Meister. <laughs> Okay. Somebody there? Allison! Allison! Allison, if you want me to drive the RV home, you better help me out a little bit here.
really could use your help right now, Dad. Eating would be a good start. I guess there's no Taco Bell in the neighborhood. Two in the search for Danny Briggs, the local boy who disappeared while hiking with his stepfather and has not been seen or heard from since. Volunteers from around the state have been working around the clock, but still have found no sign of him. The family is devastated, and law enforcement officials are seeking the public's assistance in the hopes of bringing Danny Briggs home safely. Reporting live in front of the missing local boy's home, their missing son. And in a related story, the community has come out in force to show their support. Bloodsuckers just don't know when to quit. Volunteers, thousands of dollars have been donated to the family. Samantha O'Cleary, Channel 35 News. I just wanted to let you know that I was listening to the police scanner and it looks like they're expanding the search. Expanding the search? What exactly does that mean? For now, it means your son may still have a chance. They think that he might have become disoriented and wandered beyond the search area. Why is it taking so long? I really don't know. Well, okay, thanks for coming by and letting me know. My pleasure. I really just want to see this all work out for you. Uh, would you like some coffee? Sure. Thanks. Stay cool. Just stay cool. So, after Danny's father was killed in Iraq, me and Danny really needed somebody. That's when I met Jim at the diner where I work. Jim was new in town and we started to date. Jim's not perfect, but he tries hard. That's good, you're making the best of it. Well, this change of life has been difficult on everybody. Well, thanks for the coffee, by the way. 
Well, would, would you like some more? Can't. If I have too much, my eyelids will twitch on camera. <laughs> Going out for a beer. Back in an hour. Do you think I'll see my son again? Look, I'm just a reporter. These things are hard to predict. Yeah, I know. I, I was just asking. You know, we, we really like your news reports. Thank you. Where is Danny Briggs? That's what everybody in this community wants to know. Today, search parties are being formed in an attempt to find and bring him home safely. As you can imagine, the news of this missing boy has citizens in this community worried about their own children and feeling sympathy for the mother of Danny Briggs. I think uh, so sad and I hope they will find them. This mountain, they go from hot to cold, rainy and sunny so fast. You can catch them, uh, pneumonia and, and within day. If I lost my little boy in the woods, I'd be worried sick and I, I wouldn't sleep at night and I would just pray that, that something, someday something would be found so I at least would know what would happen to him. What's up with Jim? I don't know. He's not taking any of this really well. I think he blames himself. See, I will. I'm sorry, what? <sighs> Nothing. I just I can't see anything in these woods. I know. Imagine what it is that you're going through. But isn't it weird to like to be on TV all the time? Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just doing my best to make the best out of a bad situation. But if me going on that TV is going to help bring Danny back faster, well, then I'm going to play their little game. That's really cool. I hope we find him. Hey, you get some flyers. Bye. Hey, there's Jim. Honestly, stop it. Get that camera off of me. What? I just want the whole world to see how beautiful you are. Really? Totally. Come on. Um, hello? So right sorry, here. I had something in my eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had something in your eye. It was that slut. Dude, why the hell is she always checking you out? How do you know she's checking me out? Maybe she's checking us out. Did you think about that? Yeah, keep dreaming, Playboy. Oh, I will. I certainly will. You're such a jerk, I swear to God. Hey, check out the view. Get down from there, that's 
dangerous. Yeah, baby, how's that for you? <laughs> hey, bitch, I hope you fall. What is your problem, man? What is my problem? Hey, hey, hey. Just acting this drunk. Hey, back off. Oh, whoa, guys, we got company. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How are we all doing here today? Good. Yeah, good. Hey, of course, sir. Is there a problem? Can we help you? We have a boy missing, and we're asking folks to keep an eye out for him. I heard about that on the news. Oh, is that the kid that got lost hiking out in the woods? You know, we don't really know what happened, but you know, for your own personal safety, I'm asking you guys here to pack up as quickly as you can and move on to the, the playgrounds. Oh, the playgrounds? Are you kidding me? Hey, you know what? It's not a problem. No. <laughs> hey, give us 10 minutes, we'll be out of here. We'll clean everything up, we'll be gone. You better make it five. <sighs> no problem. Five minutes, we're gone. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Dude, five minutes? Come on, man. Did I say five minutes? What? I'm at five in the morning, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, America, they're free, baby. <laughs> Where, where the hell's Laura? Huh? I don't know, maybe maybe she fell, or maybe a bear or a coyote got her. Nina, that's, sweetie, that's not nice. Come I'm on, just, sister. honestly, guys, I'm just joking. Laura! Laura! Hey, Laura, come on, come on, it's not cool. Laura! Hey. Laura! 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 Come gone. on, you guys. Seriously, she's gone. You guys killed out. Laura! 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 I was kidding! Laura! Hey, Laura! Laura! Oh, God. <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? <laughs> They're laughing their asses off at you. <laughs> You're such a skank. You're out of color. You guys are just evil, I swear. <laughs> The world's an evil place, sweetie, but it's okay. I will protect you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing, man. You see all the way across the valley.
we go. Today is June 21st, 1990. I'm Professor Ari Aiden of the Lone Star Laboratories. This is the video diary of the Reptile Transference Experiment, or RTE, as it's known around the lab. The subject is an unidentified male, approximately 16 years of age. Judging by his size and muscle development, he was probably an athlete. He was discovered on a restricted area near this location. The subject had been attacked by a bear and badly injured, resulting in the loss of his arm, use of both legs, and complete vision in both eyes. By most accounts, his life ended. It was determined, however, that he would be an ideal candidate for the Limb Regeneration Experiment, or RTE. This iguana, known by its Latin name as Iguana Iguana, will be the donor specimen. One of the unique things about this species is its ability to regenerate a limb or missing tail. The goal of this experiment is to introduce reptile genes into the human physiology in an attempt to replicate the regeneration process. The RTE subject, or Artie, has completely regenerated himself a new, fully functional left arm. Tests show that the ocular nerves are responding well. And complete vision could be back online in a matter of days. So far, the experiment is a resounding success. The experiment side effects have thus far proven irreversible. Judging by the results, there was a flaw in our theory. At present, it seems that the reptile cells have completely mutated and are taking over the entire body at a rapid pace. Much as we despise our dilemma, the RTE subject must be terminated. This is Professor Ape. Our plans to terminate subject RTE have not gone as planned. Two of my associates have been killed, and the others ran off into the woods about 10 minutes ago. In the process, RTE escaped. Somebody's coming. No. Dear God. Thanks to them, we covered a large area today. Thank you, Samantha. You're welcome. You've been a huge help. Call me if you need anything, okay? I will. Okay. <laughs> I 
It's so nice that Samantha came out to help. Yeah. Ain't she the sweetest thing ever. Hey, Samantha. We gotta get out of here. No. Come on. Please. Get up, get up, get up. Please, my ankle hurts. It hurts. Get out of here. Oh my. over there. Come on, maybe we can get some help. Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello? Smells like something died. I don't care what it smells like, just get in there. Hello? What the hell happened in here? Oh my God. I don't know, but it looks abandoned. Is there any food? Crap. No. It looks like somebody already raided this place. It's a pretty handy book you got there, kid. It was my dad's. He gave it to me before he died. Oh. Sorry to hear that. So, since we're both stuck out here in the middle of nowhere together, we might as well know each other's names. My name's Danny. Danny Briggs? Yeah. You're the kid they're talking about on TV that's lost? Lost? Is that what they're saying? Well, I mean, I'm not lost. What are you? Well, I was left out here. By who? My stepdad. I just came out here with my friends just to have a good time and party and listen to some music and have some beers. But that ex didn't actually happen. You know what I just thought about? My cell phone's in the SUV. If you can get to it, we can make a phone call and call for help. Yeah, yeah, where's the SUV? We parked over by the cliffs.
What are you doing? We need to be able to defend ourselves. I saw the monster down by the truck. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I got this. But there's no signal. Tomorrow when the sun comes up, we'll try to climb some more and get reception, okay? Okay. is our only shot. We're gonna be out there for a long time exposed. Can you handle this? Okay, come here. Now you got your game face on. My leg is killing me. Well, we'll go back and we'll try in a couple hours. No. I'll go back. You go on ahead. We gotta make that phone call. I'll be fine. I'll just make it down the hill on my own, okay? Here, take this. Use it to hold you up. Thanks. Hey, kid. Be careful. I don't get it. We have covered the entire park, and we've turned up nothing. Maybe some of the speculation is right. What if he was abducted? No, I don't believe that. How do you know? Look, this is gonna sound crazy, but it's almost like I can feel him, you know? What I'm feeling is, is that my little boy is out there somewhere, cold and scared and just trying to get home. That's what I feel. That's what I believe. Well, then maybe we're just looking in the wrong place. Well, we've already looked here. 
Right. And Jim said they went hiking up this way. So what if Danny somehow ended up here? Monster Mountain? No, Danny knows better than that. He's heard the stories. We've all heard all the stories. But what if he somehow just got turned around and ended up there? If he's on... Oh, my God. Look, let's not rule anything out until he's found. Hello? Mom? Can you hear me? Danny? Danny? Honey? Where are you? I'm up on Monster Mountain. Jim left me up him. here. Well, what about Jim? Jim is here and- Mom, I can barely hear you. If you can hear me, come get me. I'm on my- Honey, I, I can't hear you. One more time. Where are you? Monster Mountain! Danny? Danny? Danny! Oh? No! My baby. He is alive. Let's go get him. Where is he? Oh my god. He is on Monster Mountain. Jim? Jim? Where's he going? Let's go find out. Can this thing go any faster? Hey, it's Sam. Danny just called his mother. He's somewhere on Monster Mountain. And it looks like his stepfather may know more than he let on. Monster Mountain is at least five miles away. Uh, wait, I, I see a road. Where? Uh, go straight and that way. Got your seatbelt down tight? Yeah. Good. It's about time I get to see what this SUV can really do.
What are you doing out here? Well, I'm looking for you. After uh, what you put me through. Me and your mom, you had us worried sick. After you took your little tumble down the hill, I thought you were dead. Who'd have known you'd beat the odds? Why didn't you check? You just left me out here. My bad. But I'm here to take you home now. Where's mom? She's, uh, she's back at the house. She got your call, and she sent me right up here to bring you home. So, let's You're get... You're lying. Daddy! <laughs> Leave me alone! Little... <laughs> this place.
Danny. I can hear you in there. you left. Well, I thought about leaving, but coming back was the only right thing to do. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Guess you think that makes you a better man than me, huh? No, just more of a man. I appreciate it. Get out of here, Danny. Not today, lizard boy. Left. You go right. Danny!
I'm over here. Danny! Mom! Oh my god! I thought I lost you. I'm okay. I'm okay. Wow, well, I sure like it when it turns out like this. I do too. Samantha, this is Danny. Danny, it is so good to see you. So much. Come on, Danny. Let's go home. In local news, Danny Briggs is home safe. His stepfather, Jim, rescued Danny but lost his life battling a wild animal on Monster Mountain. Officials have asked that citizens stay clear of the mountain until the wild animal is located. Samantha O'Cleary, Channel 35 News. Hey, Chucky, ain't it a beautiful night to be hunting? Oh, man, that moon's lighting up the night, making them easier to see. <sighs> ain't it beautiful? But I bet you $20, I could bag this thing before you can. Man, I bet you $20, a 12-pack, and three of those boysenberry chamomile aromatherapy three? candles. Three? Feel me, Bobo? Damn. Yeah, I feel you, Chucky. I'm going to let you go first, you big chicken. Go on. Not like I need to, but I will go. All right, then. Don't hurt yourself out there. Ah, oh, Chucky, goddamn, dude. Quit messing around. Gonna get you, Chucky.